You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt here. And I want to talk about what Sheila Carter is going to do about her very messy Steffi problem. As long as Steffi is with Finn, then she's going to insist that he stay away from his biological mother. And that is not what Sheila wants. I mean, heck, I don't think it's what Finn wants either. But Steffi's kind of the boss of him. Can Sheila play a tricky matchmaker? game to get her son with somebody that she thinks is going to work out better for her. Let's talk about it, but first, please subscribe if you have not. So next week in the new promo, if you haven't seen it, um, we have coverage of it. Look for our Bold and Beautiful next week video, and you, you can see the promo. Uh, so in that video, we have Steffi at Sheila and Deacon's apartment. And if I have to guess, Steffi may push her way in uninvited again. And Steffi doesn't want to hear a thing about Sheila's new lease on life, how she's changed, how it's a miracle that she survived. None of that. And Steffi also doesn't want to listen to anybody calling Sheila a hero or her actions heroic. No way will Steffi believe that Sheila sacrificed herself to save Steffi and the kids. She is always going to believe the absolute worst about this woman. And in this case, I think she's going to assume that Sheila was conspiring with sugar and that this is all some sort of con job to trick everyone into thinking she's not a psychopath anymore. But the Forsters, and Logans will never believe that Sheila Carter is anything but a homicidal maniac. And this whole resurrection story is a big steaming pile of BS as far as they're concerned. So next week, Steffi is ranting and raving at Sheila, tells her mother-in-law she doesn't give two shakes, that she's back from the dead. Nothing has changed as far as she is concerned. Steffi tells Sheila she will never, ever be in their lives, never be around Finn or Kelly or Hayes, and she can crawl back under the rock that she shares with Deacon because nobody wants her around. Steffi is absolutely going to repeat the things that she has said in the past to Sheila because to her, all of that is still in play. None of this has changed anything. And then Steffi, of course, is going to walk out in a fit of rage, maybe get dragged out by Fen. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure she's confident that her ultimatums will work because Steffi's a lot like her dad, Ridge. She has these big blind spots and she tends to think that whatever she says goes, whatever she wants should be the way things happen. But this is not a case where it's going to go like Steffi wants. I do think Finn is going to push back because he thinks his mother deserves the benefit of the doubt and has proved she's not a threat to anybody. But Sheila may take a different approach to solving this Steffi situation. She can't just kill Steffi. That would end the whole premise that she's this great changed person. And it would also mean that Finn would cut her out of his life. If anything bad happened to Steffi that could be pointed at Sheila, that would be it for Finn. So Sheila has to be careful. She has to be strategic. And I think Finn is going to do some of the work of this because he's going to push back on Steffi, try to get her to see things his way. Meanwhile, Sheila may start undermining Steffi and Finn's marriage in a very deliberate way. The first thing she can do, she can work on Finn to convince him that Steffi is being hateful, unforgiving, and inflexible. And remember, Finn said just the other day, he believes in second chances. He believes people can change. So in his mind, that's what Sheila deserves. That's where she is at. The problem is Finn just doesn't know his biological mom like everyone else does. This is not Sheila Carter's second chance. This would be like her 20th, maybe her 25th chance. You know, if you think back on all the pain and suffering that she has caused with decades of murder and mayhem, this is not a second chance scenario, but in Finn's mind it is. I still think Finn is never going to believe the worst of her because he hasn't lived through it just you know, 
basically him getting shot by her, but he's decided to forgive her. And in his mind, Sheila is his mom and should be allowed to be in their lives. And he thinks she has earned forgiveness by protecting Steffi and the kids. So that's phase one. Phase two is for Sheila to continue aggravating Steffi in subtle ways so that Steffi will keep exploding and Finn will think his wife is being unhinged, irrational, out of control. Things like that. Undermine the marriage, make Steffi look crazy. And then phase three, Sheila could try and pair up Finn with Hope Logan. Already, we keep seeing Hope and Finn thrown into scenes together a whole lot, and they've not given us any sign that Thomas Forster is back soon, although he's long overdue, but no spoilers on him yet. So in the meantime, they might try and put Hope with Finn as Steffi's marriage hits a serious stumbling block. I mean, Hope seems to be way more chill about Sheila since her resurrection, so Deacon's soon to be wife may think that Hope is a much better alternative for her son, Finn. The week of May 20th, when Deacon marries Sheila, it definitely looks like Hope really may be there. And also Finn, he wants Finn to be his best man, and Hope seems to be open to the idea of going to this wedding. And those two have already been bonding since the funeral, Hope and Finn have. And bonding again after Sheila came back to life. They have had some serious talks, some hugs, lots of compassion. Plus, Hope is about to be Finn's stepsister, and that means them hooking up would be super creepy. And Bold and Beautiful likes to do super creepy creepy things, you know, like having a mother-in-law bang her son-in-law and get pregnant, like having a stepdad make out with his former stepdaughter, and a young man talking about his sex life with his two unrelated siblings who are currently sleeping together. All of these have happened on Bald. So this definitely has potential based on b and sordid history of inappropriate couplings. Meanwhile, the second that Steffi and Finn start having marital problems, Liam is going to be right in there. There's a spoiler pick for Thursday of this week where Liam is in Steffi's CEO office and you know they're not talking about the weather. Liam actually could end up being Sheila's unwilling accomplice by getting close to Steffi while the nine-tone lunatic is pushing Finn and Hope together. If you don't remember, I think it was back before she shot Steffi and Finn that Sheila actually mentioned to Deacon that it'd be great if Finn and Hope were a couple. So she thought about it before it may come up again once she sees Steffi is never, ever going to let go of the grudge against her. To be fair, Sheila shot Steffi and her mom and her grandma. So I, I get the grudge. It's valid, but Sheila is not one to go down without a fight. And after this upcoming showdown with Steffi, I can totally imagine Sheila Carter is going to try and figure out how to get Steffi out of Finn's life. And if she thinks distracting Finn with hope works, I can totally see her trying it subscribe if you haven't definitely drop your comments do you think that sheila carter may try and get finn with hope and what do you think about the two of them together let me know be sure and come back here often we are talking bold and beautiful seven days a week and as always this is your host belinda from soap dirt thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.